Hey, this is Jason Cruz from MMA Payout once again with the interview. And this time we are talking to Bellator 287 headliner, uh, Adam Piccolidi, as he faces Mansoor Bar Barnawi. I think that's how his name is spelled in Milan, Italy. First of all, uh, Adam, how are you feeling? And did I pronounce your last name correctly? Nope, that was me. First of all, you butchered it. It's Piccolotti. <laughs> Piccolotti. <laughs> ah! <Yes, sir. laughs> I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. okay. Understand. Adam Piccolotti. That was. I'm. I'm sure. I'm, I. I mispronounced your uh, your opponent's name wrong too. But anyway, that's all right. We don't care about that. Yeah, we don't care about that. But uh, <laughs> aside from butchering your name, Adam, uh, how are you feeling? Great, man. I'm. Uh excited to you know be talking to you and excited to be on this main event spot and uh, excited to get out there now uh have you ever been to milan italy no i haven't been to italy at all i you know i i didn't want to be presumptuous because uh th this is one of the cooler uh, locations for bellator it's not uncasville connecticut but uh i i think it'll do um how uh, are you going to be able to see anything while you are there? Or are you going to stay a little bit after to, to see a little bit of things after um, you're there? No, not really. I mean, I, I'm hopefully going to see stuff while I'm there fight week. Um, I'm excited to, you know, get out, maybe take a jog around the city, see, see some of the sites on my own time. Um, but I'm not, you know, trying to plan out tours or excursions or anything crazy like that. You know, as much as uh, I am excited to be going to Italy, um, at the end of the day, it's still a business trip. And uh, I'm still going there with with one purpose in mind. Now you you had to sit out a little bit. You had you fought in February. You had to sit out a little bit. But how does it feel to be back and getting ready to go into the Bellator cages? Are you a little anxious? Are you ready? Are you just uh, how how are you feeling? Yeah, um, it's a cage fight. There's always a little bit of I guess anxiety. I don't know if that's even the right word. Um, more so just excitement. Um, I love what I do. I love fighting. I love competing. So um, I'm excited to get back out there. Um, I love doing it in front of a big stage. I'm a super humble person, but I do love to show off, especially when it comes to something that I work so hard at. Um, so my overall theme is just excitement right now. So um, how has training camp been? You've been, uh, I, I, I'm presuming you've been at uh, American Kickboxing Association, AKA? Yeah. Um, so I split my camp mainly at AKA. Um, my, my head coach is Raul Castillo. He runs a, a small jiu-jitsu gym in my town. And then I also train at CSA, which is a combat sports academy over in Dublin. Um, all about a, an hour's driving distance within each other. Um, I've also been getting uh, – they have like a little alliance with the El Nino scrap pack. So I get to get some good work in with uh, Gil Melendez himself. And, um, and that's been kind of the split. But, yeah, the majority of my hard work, uh, the hard – like the intensive sparring and all that stuff. That's, that's all happened at AKA. Um, I just got my other coaches at my other gyms, just sharpening my tools all the time. Now, now Gil's a veteran. Uh, Gilbert Melendez is a veteran. He uh, trains with the scrap pack. Of course, the Diaz brothers, we all know those guys. Uh, how has uh, training with him helped you out? That dude is like, uh, obviously like a book of knowledge, right? He's been in the game forever. He's got the experience under his belt. Um, he's got the technique and the form still. Um, so, Having a lightweight legend OG like that, uh, that I'm able to grapple with, strike with, uh, bounce ideas off of, um, he'll even, you know, hold pads and, and, and give and just be a body for me to, you know, hit some takedowns or, or whatever the drill for the day is. Um, it's been great, man. He's, he's always been a, a cool dude. Me and him vibe right off the bat. And um, yeah, it's been fun. Now, so is he mainly watching how you're doing stuff or does he roll with you too? No, he's active. He's rolling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how is he? How I'm yeah. a, I've been a big fan of Gil, so I'm sorry if I'm fanboying about it, but uh, that's okay. How has how how is he rolling with him? It's amazing, right? He's he's a tough sob. He's been there with everybody, you know. That I mean, there's not too much that you that you should be saying about about sparring and stuff like that with with everybody. Um, but Gil's always bringing the pressure. Gil's bringing the Gil style. Um, you know how that dude fights. You know he's a he's a madman. So, um. Having him for sparring and, and rolling and stuff like that has been great. Um, I value him even more just picking his brain as much as I can. Nice, nice. I mean, when and so when when you say picking his brain, are you just talking about the business side or you're talking about the mental aspects of fighting or just in general, life in general? 
I mean, general, but definitely fighting orientated. Um, yeah. I wish I thought about the business side a little bit better, you know, but I'm very one one dimensional in that aspect. I'm I'm focusing on getting my my butt to that belt. And uh, and that's about all. So, um, yeah, it's, it's mainly, you know, strategy, mindset, technique, whatever, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so uh, your opponent now uh, is new to the new developer tour. They're bringing him in. He's he has a pretty good record. He's on a winning streak. Do you how much do you know about um, Mr. Mansoor? Um, I mean, I know as much as anybody else knows, right? That's that's on the outside. You know, I've I've watched some of his videos. Uh, I know what his record looks like. I know his his dimensions. <laughs> so you know all the basics. But uh, I I just know that he's gonna come out. He's gonna be a tough. He's gonna be a hard fight. Um, he's gonna be good everywhere. You know, this is a a flipping main event in Italy for Bellator MMA. So um, it's not gonna they're not gonna be putting up guys that that don't know how to do it all. So um, that that's the way I see him. He's gonna be a well rounded, lanky fighter. That's uh, that's got plenty of skill. Now, I, I don't, uh, I, I'm looking down your, 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 uh, fight record. And is this the first time you've main evented a, a Bellator card? I, th I think it might be correct. Yeah. This is my first, uh, Bellator main event. Yep. That is awesome. Now, do you get anything special, uh, for, for being the, uh, feature fighter on the, on the, on the Bellator card? Is there anything, do you, uh, do you get the bigger locker room? You get, you get to do any, anything special? They give you a, your uh, honorary poster or anything like that? Yeah. I mean, uh, we're going to find out. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't quite done it yet. Um, but I mean, starting with more interviews, I get to talk to more of you guys and, and allow more more uh, people to you know see me, hear me talk, and, and and get to know me a little bit better before these fights. Um, you know, I, I do get an extra corner man. I do get an extra flight out there. Um, so th yeah, there's definitely little benefits. Um, I've seen in the past, at least like SAP Center in San Jose, uh, main event guys there. I've been getting their own locker room and stuff like that. So you know, I think there'll be some uh, some perks involved with the job this time. Well, that's good to know, and and obviously they expect expect you to show out on 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 fight night. Uh, as far as fight week goes, uh, what do you like to do during fight week? Are, are you a, a guy who wants some solitude? Do you uh, want to hang out with your coaches and your team and your friends and family, or are you just a guy who wants to veg out? Uh, aside from, of course, um, making weight, veg out and watch videos or read books. What, what do you like to do during fight week? Uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a mix. I definitely need the, the social, right? I need to have some of my friends around. Um, luckily, you know, my main corpsman, Raul Castillo, he's, you know, been basically my best friend for 15 years now, you know, ever since we started training together. Um, so having him around is super important to me. Um, but at the same time, I also have to kick him out of my room sometimes, tell him to go do something else. I need to just, either think about nothing or um, I've always been a big gamer. So I'm bringing my video games uh, every fight camp and, uh, and, I'll, and I'll get down on something. <laughs> now, are you a PS5 guy, or Xbox guy? Which one are you? Typically PC. PC. Oh, oh, you're the game. You're a gamer gamer. You got a, you got a Twitch channel channel or you? Uh, no, no, guy? no. I, I, unfortunately my, my go-to game, nobody likes to watch is uh, world of Warcraft. Oh, really? So, okay. No, no, no. I've, I've, I've seen people do that. I've seen people do that on. on yeah. Okay. There's, there's, there's a couple of Twitch streamers, but it's not like, uh, you know, say call of duty or something that you could get, get it going, you know, and, and to be honest with you, I, I did start a Twitch channel and I was streaming uh Warzone uh like a couple nights a week with some of my boys but um you know it just it, it it's not that it was work right it was really fun and i love to do it but it it became an issue when I, I was having a hard time uh getting my boys to play with me on a consistent schedule right because you know that's something that's kind of important for you know broadcasting and stuff like that is having a, a regular time schedule and and when i wasn't with my friends it wasn't worth streaming you know so um yeah. something i would love to do in the future though i mean getting you know, getting publicity, maybe getting some sponsors, getting paid a little bit for uh, for gaming and, and putting on a show sounds sounds awesome to me. Yeah, I know playing video games and just and just chit chatting uh, that, that 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 doesn't seem too bad at all. Not yeah, not absolutely. That, that's what you like to do if that's if that's your gig. But Adam, your gig actually will be fighting uh, October 29th <laughs> in in Milan, Italy. Um, thank you for your time. Any predictions for the fight? Uh, we're gonna go TKO next. Excellent. What, what, yeah. what, what are you thinking? First, second, third round? Yeah, or two or three. 
Yeah, two or three. It depends. It all depends on him, right? I'm going to take a sub. If he gives it to me, uh, I'll finish him by, by, by ground and pound or even on the feet if, if he gives me that. So um, I'm a very opportunistic fighter, and uh, I'm going to put pressure on him and, and, and find my victory one way or another. Excellent. Excellent. And so um, if your, your predictions, uh, pr projections for uh, 2023, I assume you want more fights. I assume you want to get uh, up in the uh, Bellator rankings. Uh, are we looking like three, four fights in 2023? I mean, I would love that. Um, it all comes down to uh, physical health and matchmaking, right? So, so long as I'm healthy, I'll be ready to fight. And um, yeah, they need to put me back on that damn ranking list. It's crazy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you know, I'll, I'll take as many fights as I need to take in order to make that happen. Um, obviously that lightweight tournament is, is high on my radar. Um, so, so, you know, if, if this fights push me in there and, and they get that thing started at the beginning of the year or something, let's go with that. Excellent. Well, Adam, thank you very much for your time. We'll be watching Saturday, October 29th, Bellator heads to Milan, Italy. Hopefully you'll get your fill of uh, espresso and perhaps spaghetti after after the meet, after the fight, uh, after a great victory. Have a great day. We'll be watching. Right on. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Okay. Have a good day, Adam. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.